Hello everyone, my cousin is here today, link to his channel down below. We have been playing the new Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which is the new Switch game that surprised me extremely when it was announced, and it includes Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy. For me, I have to say that this was a dream come true. I don't think Nintendo could have done it better, for me especially because these three Mario games are my favorite Mario games. I also have Mario World now on the Switch, so I am good. And Odyssey, let's not forget <laughs> Odyssey as well. So the Nintendo Switch now is my ultimate Mario console. What do you think about this trilogy? I like it, uh, better pictures, story are the same. This game uh, has been my uh, favorite. Yeah, you have previous experience with Mario 64. Yeah, I've never played the other Mario games. When I was 10 years old, yeah. you, you came over and saw the game. Yeah, I saw the game and tried a little bit. Mm. Mm, because I got Mario 64 when I was 10 years old. That was in year 2000. So yeah, I was obsessed with the game. It is so good. But the thing is, going back to Mario 64, the controls, I had forgotten about how the controls were. I mean, the aged controls, let me just tell you. We were used to these controls back in the day when we were kids. But now, with a lifetime of gaming, a bunch of games, and following the progression that the gaming world in itself has evolved over the years, controls are just different now. And by that I mean how much you feel you are in control of the character. It's kind of hard to go back to the game because of course my memory is coming back to me that this is what we dealt with back in the day, but Mario is kind of hard to control and in general games were harder back in the days than now though. Yeah. But I am loving going back to Mario 64. I'm having such a nostalgia trip with it. A bunch of these stars I have just gotten once in my life, probably, some of them. Like the ones in the clock tower and all the late game stars. So it's so much fun to go back to the game and truly being committed into fully completing the game over again with 120 stars. How many stars have you collected so far? On my uh, Switch I think uh, three. Four stars. Yeah, we just started the game. We got this game yesterday. I'm still waiting for my copy, so we played on your copy. Yeah. Because I was stupid enough to pre-order this game. Now, I want to give some critique to Nintendo, actually. When they announced this game, they put a high pressure on the fact that this was a limited game. First of all, why would you make a Mario game limited? in the first place. You don't need to do that. It's Mario. It's the king of video games. Second of all, we were all going crazy when we heard that it was going to be only limited printed, limited in physical copies, and also limited in digital. I can't believe it. I just can't believe that. So the thing is, I went on my Discord server and I was like, oh my god, I'm never gonna get this game. It's probably not gonna come out in Norway even. So I got someone off my Discord channel to buy the game to pre-order the game from Best Buy in the States. And I PayPal'd him, I paid for the game. The thing is, he's gonna get it first and then send it over to me. But the thing is, this game had a release yesterday. We were out shopping, we went to the electronic store. What do we see? <laughs> Super Mario. I didn't even think that this game would come to Norway. I mean, the way that Nintendo sort of marketed it to be so limited that it would be hard to get. So I thought I was being smart by pre-ordering it through someone and just ensuring that I would get my physical copy. But in the end, you just walk in there and grab your physical copy in Norton, Norway. The shelves were full of this game. Yeah, it's the first time of my life I have uh, one game before you. <laughs> true. That is so true. How does that feel? Weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. You always have the game before me. I don't. Um, I know I do. We came home here and we did a little live stream. Have you guys ever gone back to this game when you are an adult and you can actually read the signs? The controls in this game, it is probably not... Oh! I'm trying to just take the shortcut over here, but he slides. When we learned English in school, vegetable was such a hard word to understand. So I said vegetable. And my English teacher said, God damn it. Now, Irene, what kind of table is that? 
What kind of table is that? Vegetable. It was a great live stream. I really enjoyed it, but I had some technical difficulties. For one, I used a microphone that was built into the webcam, which is not good. And the resolution was 480 for the entire stream. I'm not gonna repeat that. Now I have figured out what the settings are going to be in the OBS. But people said it was good and thank you so much for that. Um, thank you for all the support always. We had a blast yesterday with the playing this yeah, game uh, online. Yeah, I mean live streaming. There was over 130 people in there at the same time. I've never had that many people watch my live stream before, so it was kind of surreal. So yeah, I think it was fun. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. Also, just seeing your first impression on the next game we're going to talk about, which is Mario Sunshine. You played this game for your first time, am I correct? Yeah. Because back when I was 12, 13, which is what I think I was when I played Sunshine for my first time. I think you mentioned that you came over to our place back then. I came over to you to see that game, but uh, I've never played it before. Uh, I think it was a good game. I will uh, try Mario Sunshine, see if I can complete that game. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. And it looks so good. Now, when it comes to the look of the games, Mario 64 looks the same, only sharper, but it doesn't have a widescreen. I didn't understand why they didn't do that in widescreen but anyways it looks good it plays good end of story <laughs> and sunshine they made it widescreen and also made it crisper sharper they're like new games almost because I can really feel and see the improvements with the remastering that they did with these games and sunshine looks really really beautiful and so good it is a game where Mario comes to a tropical island and he is being blamed for vandalism on the entire island and you have to clean up because there's actually a shadow Mario that did all the messing around around with the paint and all of that, but you have to clean it up anyway. You also collect 120 stars in this game. It was so surreal. The nostalgia when it hits you it is so unreal. I love it. It's like I'm a little kid again and this is what I'm living for sort of thing. The feelings that video games give me, it is amazing. <laughs> Now, we also delved a tiny bit into Mario Galaxy. What was your first impression of that? Because from what I remember, you have never played that? Never played it. Have you ever seen Mario Galaxy before? I was visiting you and I... Yeah, you visited me yeah. when I was 16. And uh, it was a little weird with the planet, all that. Yeah, the gravity. The yeah, they're play playing with gravity in that game. I love it. Yeah, that was a little weird, but uh, I think I will, uh, I will try that. Oh, it's so I'm good. I'm curious. Actually, Galaxy is probably my favorite out of this pack. Even though my nostalgia is hardest for Mario 64 and also quite hard on, on Sunshine, my favorite is maybe Galaxy because of how much that game blew me away when it came out on the Wii. A new console, I remember. It was my second game on the Wii, the white one in 2006. Amazing. So I'm gonna play that game together with my mom because she has repeated over the years talked about Mario Galaxy. When are you gonna play Mario Galaxy? So that is also a very parent-friendly game, apparently. She really also enjoyed the colors and the, you know, flying to different planets and all the variety in the levels and the gravity thing going around, you know, planets. So yeah, we have a great first impression with this collection and we highly recommend it. Now, I want to say that I don't understand the whole limited marketing that Nintendo is doing with this game. Never understood that. That only made people go crazy, scalpers gone crazy on eBay and it being sold out everywhere apparently, but it isn't. So I don't know, it's so confusing. Why do the limited thing? It's only confusing and it made us go crazy for a moment. <laughs> So we are going to definitely be enjoying this trilogy. I can see myself playing this for the rest of my life on and off because it is my childhood we're talking about. And um, my childhood was very much defined by Mario 64. And then my early teenage years with Sunshine and then my mid-teens with Galaxy. These games are a part of me and how I started to view video games growing up, I guess. 
And also they are hard games. It's not just easy peasy and walk in the park. They are also hard. What do you think about the difficulty? Do you die a lot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I will never stop uh, trying to finish the game. Okay, so please check out my cousin's YouTube channel. You just started YouTube. Yeah. What do you think about doing a YouTube channel? It's been very fun. Mm -hmm. I never thought there'd be so many people a uh, short time. Yeah, you have gotten a lot of subscribers. Yeah. You're so excited. So go over there and subscribe, link down below. Now, thank you so much for watching today and we will see you later. Later. Bye. Bye.